Hello and welcome back to another video from Oz Espresso Machines. Please make sure to check us out on Instagram at Oz Espresso. There we go. Boom. Okay, so I'm making this video for Scott and also for my friend uh, Raz, who's just bought a La Pavoni. Scott is the owner of this machine we just repaired. This was, I don't know, it's been a very long time since this thing got serviced. And this is the pre-millennium version. Now I'm using a pressure gauge with a, uh, I'm sorry, the, the cap has a pressure gauge on it. This will help us to see what's the steam pressure because we don't have uh, the gauge here like the professional version. You can actually have a external um, adapter and then install a little gauge here that's available from different sources. That's the original one. And then here, and this older version has uh, basically the high, high and low um, elements on off. Now basically you have two elements here, a small one and a bigger one. The small one will result at uh, about 0.8, which is ideal for espresso. Then if you switch to two, it will go up a little more and will be stronger for steaming and frothing. As you can see right over here. Now this is a little too hot. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn this thing off a little bit and then move it to position number one. A lot of the times with newer models you don't get the benefit of having two, uh, two heating elements so a lot of La Pavoni owners will just turn it off when it reach about 0.7 or 0.8 to let it cool down and then pull the shot. A lot of the times with La Pavoni the water is going to be a little too hot for brewing so we want to let it sit for a second and then pull our shot. Does this make sense? I think so. So um, let's do this. Another tip I have for you is when you put the coffee in, hold on, let me just move this thing over here. When we put the coffee inside and we lift the lever, it takes a few seconds for the um, pre-infusion to go through, through the coffee and then we have the first few drops. Now if I put it on, I lift the lever up and then it takes me a second or two, then it means the grind is too coarse which means the coffee is not going to be as flavorful. If I lift this up and nothing happens, it means the grind, and you know, you waited 10, 15 seconds, it means the grind is too fine because water can't really penetrate through the coffee. So you want to be anywhere between five and eight seconds for pre-infusion, and then you're ready to pull your shot. Um, I haven't tested this, to be honest, I just will work with a lot of machines, so I made some adjustments and hopefully this will be fine, we'll know soon. But that's a couple tips I can um, provide you with. The pre-infusion time and the uh, the pressure. Now if you don't have a gauge, I'll just turn this guy on. If you don't have a gauge, then you just wait for the heating to, to start and then you just turn it off, wait a couple seconds and then go and pull your shot. So let's see what's going on and see if this will work. So I'm waiting for the pressure to go up just a tiny bit. I put my coffee, I'm gonna make sure it's nice and snug. Let's take a look over here. We're slowly climbing up. Let's speed things up a little bit. Position number two. And we're ready. I'm gonna stop over here. I'm gonna also turn it off. I don't want the water to be um, too hot. Let's put this over here. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Could be a little too fun. I'm gonna help it just a little bit, I'm pressing it very gently. Okay. 
not good. So this is actually, oh here we go, uh, let's try it. It's a little too fine. Okay, let's take a look at it. Now you see if I let go, uh, the lever is not going up. If the lever is going up, it means it's actually there's too much pressure. Now you've seen when I pulled the shot, I kind of like went up and down, up and down just a little bit to make the, um, you know, help, help the water go through. That's another trick you can do. Uh, but for my opinion, the grounds were a little too fine for this extraction. I'm going to try this coffee now and see... Let's see. Oh, well, look inside. It looks pretty good, but not good enough, to my opinion. It's okay, but nothing too fancy. Alrighty, I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. And as always, have a nice day.